What's up everyone? Welcome back to another review. This time we're taking a look at Waiting. Let's waste no time. Let's delve into it. Waiting is a movie with no plot. It's a movie about the life, about a day in the life of various waitresses, waiters and cooks at this restaurant named Shenanigans. So yeah, that's what Waiting is all about. So, how was this movie? I like Waiting. I've always enjoyed Waiting. I remember watching this movie multiple times when it, when it came out when I was 15 years old. I was a fan of it, and you know what? I still enjoy this movie. Uh, when compared to other movies of a similar style than Waiting, of course, there are movies that are much, much better, like the American Pie movies. You know, Waiting is not one of those uh, epic comedies that you kind of remember from years on, from years on out. It's just a middle of the road standard comedy, but it's got a lot of enjoyable moments to it. Uh, honestly, truthfully, to me, the highlight of this movie is Ryan Reynolds as the character of Monty. It's Ryan Reynolds. No, he has that, just that, you know, sarcastic, quippy sense of humor, and he brings that to the character of Monty. You know, it's basically Ryan Reynolds playing Ryan Reynolds, and he's fun all throughout the movie. Uh, you also have actors like Justin Long, Anna Faris, Louis Guzman, Dane Cook, to round out the bunch, and they all play the roles exceptionally well. I like the character of, uh, I like Justin Long's character of Dean, he's kind of Monty, he's like Monty's best friend. Uh, he has, he, he's a good character, he has his own little thing where he doesn't want to know what he wants to do with his life, especially when he gets offered a manager position at the restaurant, he doesn't know, he doesn't know whether or not he wants to take it or not, mainly because he doesn't want to be in the business that he's in. So I like that, you know, uh, you know the Dean character is a very relatable character for a lot of people who work in dead-end jobs like restaurants and or things like that. And then you're given an opportunity to move up, you're kind of you're kind of like, do I really want to do this with the rest of my life, you know. I like that, you know, Justin Long's character is actually really relatable. Uh, Anna Faris's character as Selena, she's almost like the ex-girlfriend of Monty. Uh, I like Anna Faris, and I like her in this movie, you know. She she holds her own against Ryan Reynolds being just as quippy and just as a little bit more harder uh, on, on him as well when, when they're doing their dialogue back and forth. I enjoy that. I think Anna Faris in general, she was really funny in the movie. Uh, Dane Cook, I was, I've never been the world's biggest Dane Cook fan. I don't hate him. I like him in spurts. And in this movie, Dane Cook plays one of the chefs, and he's and he's too, and he's in spurts, and he's actually really, and he's actually funny with, with a lot of his uh, uh, quick-witted uh, comebacks and certain things that he does. I found it to be very enjoyable. Uh, and the rest of the cast, like I said, that's fine too. All the characters in the movie are, I enjoy a lot. Uh, the character of Calvin, he has his whole subplot where he has trouble, where he has trouble going into the bathroom. Uh, honestly, truthfully, I didn't really find this particular subplot to be all that funny. It was kind of just blur. But a but a plot that I did like involves this character called Mitch, played by John Francis Daly, who is kind of like the new guy being given a tour of the restaurant by Monty. And Mitch is kind of like the audience, the POV character. He's the normal character around the around this uh, restaurant, around these uh, around these colorful folks who work at this restaurant. And the best part about Mitch's character is the end, where he gets go when he goes on a tirade, which was utterly hysterical. So, so yeah, I, I enjoy the character of Mitch because it has a nice payoff at the end of the movie. Uh, the whole running gag of a penis game going on between the r restaurant workers, I thought was actually really freaking hilarious and also really funny, especially when they come up with different ways to kind of catch you off guard, and they have different variations on how to do it. It's stupid. It's silly. But overall, I, I thought it was funny for what it was. So yeah, I, I it stuck. It, what do you want? It, it, you ain't gonna get high class comedy with a movie called Waiting. It's it's a, ju it's a juvenile sex. It's a juvenile comedy, but it does have a lot of good moments to it. It does have some good some good elements to it. Um, uh, the uh, the actor David Kirshner, who plays uh, who plays the manager Dan. No, I and I enjoy David Kirshner as an actor. I've liked him in other things, and I enjoyed him in this movie as well. He, he, I thought he was funny. Uh, the whole running, the whole thing of uh, Monty trying to get in bed with this girl named Natasha, who was like a high school girl. Uh, not too keen on that. I mean, I mean, this movie. A lot of the people that do at this restaurant, they want to mack on high school girls, and it's just very uncomfortable when you're watching it now with my 31 year old eyes. Maybe because you motherfuckers look at least 30, you want to bang 16, you want to bang 17 year olds. That just goes to show you that the standards get low as the older you get. And you just need something quick. Uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, uh, listen, when I was 15, uh, it was it was funny. 31, it's all right. Uh, it's whatever. I'm not offended by it or anything. It's just like, oh, okay. 
did not age well when you, when you apply it to today's concept, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, this movie also has a lot of running gags. Like, I like how each person deals with a certain specific set of customers. You get the rednecks, you get the nice people, and then you get the bitches. And I like how when you see the bitches, the cooks mess with their food. That's a lot of fun to see. That was that that stuff is that stuff. Was, I thought that stuff was really funny. And I also like the whole thing when uh, when Dean meets an old high school friend of his named Chet, and uh, and that pretty much you know is the final linchpin of him wanting just to get out, just to quit the restaurant business, and not want anything to do with it. I thought that was okay to itself as well. Uh, but one of the one of this movie's biggest strengths is really the chemistry between everybody in the cast. They all feel like they've been friends for a long time. They all have their own distinct personalities. And that's another thing that makes this movie, you know, to me it works. Every character is, every character is different. They all have their own uh, distinct characteristics. You know, Monty is the quippy, sarcastic asshole. You know, the character of Serena, she's like, she's like her own woman. And then you've got the character of Naomi. She's the one who's been working at the restaurant for so long that it, she's just a grumpy bitch type of human being. And Alana and, uh, and Alana Ubach has a lot of funny moments as a character as well. Uh, personally speaking, I kind of like the character of Bishop, who is like this spiritual advisor slash therapist to everyone at the restaurant, played by Chief McBride. I thought he had a lot of fun moments to himself as well, and I, I, I think he could have been utilized much more than what it really was in the entire film. All right. So with all that being said. I enjoy waiting. It's a fun comedy. It's a quick watch. It's, it's it's not a long movie whatsoever. It's entertaining. It's got some good moments to it. Are you going to remember it after you've watched it? Maybe parts you're going to remember, but some parts you're going to be like, uh, whatever. So yeah, end of the day, waiting for me is a solid 6 out of 10. I still thoroughly enjoy this movie. I still like it. As, as compared to other movies of the same ilk, it's not as good, but this movie, to me, it's, not, it's definitely not bad either. So yeah. Six out of ten for waiting. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Like the video and subscribe, and I'll check you back next time for more.